We can now jump here uh, because we want to attack here. And he... No, he gonna back rank... He gonna... He gonna back... He gonna back... What's up, everyone? And welcome! Or welcome back to my channel! Chess Doctor here with yet another banger! And in today's video, we are going to do a little chess experiment. We are going to go and play a game of chess, which is, I know, it sounds very ridiculous, right? <laughs> and we're going to experiment who is better, 1000 ELO chess person, which is me, and or uh, 1000 ELO chess bought on chess.com, okay? So uh, we're going to play a game against him, we're going to see... Uh, who gonna win, who gonna play better, and uh, we're going to try and like uh, learn how do these bots uh, that are 1000 rated work, do they think like us people who are 1000 rated, or do they think on another level, okay? But before we begin guys, today I literally got my first ever YouTube paycheck, so I wanted to uh, say very big thanks to every single one of you who is watching me, uh, who is following me, who is supporting me, I was so happy, uh, because I'm very very proud of myself and because I'm just like very happy that I managed somehow to turn this uh, dream of mine into a kind of career. Uh, I mean, I know we're just, we are just starting out, okay? But I know I have a very good gut feeling that this is going to be something big. Guys, we're gonna, we gonna do it all, okay? So uh, thank you guys. Thank you for believing in me and thank you for supporting me. And the biggest thanks uh, goes to Overcooked Octopus Feed, who is one of the biggest donators on this channel. He donated 35 times on this channel via super chat and super thanks. Thank you, Octopus. That is just insane. I needed to give you a personal shout out because I'm just like, what, sir? Like, literally, ha thank you, okay? Thank you for believing in me and thank you for supporting me and thank you for uh, making uh, this dream of mine become reality and thank you for just uh, helping me chase my dreams because uh, that really means a lot to me, okay? So, guys, we're gonna play now. We're gonna, we're gonna play the game. So, uh, the bot in question... The bot in question is Arthur, Arthur the Adequate, okay? So this uh, Arthur is straight up 1000 ELO. I'm 1016 and uh, we're going to play the game. We're gonna play uh, a little game of chess with him. Uh, challenge random color, okay? So let us begin, let us begin. Uh, and we got the white pieces. I don't know, should I play E4 or D4? I'm gonna play D4 just because. Come on, sir. We don't want him to play Karo Khan. I didn't try to play E4 against this bot and I'm afraid to play it. So uh, we're going to go uh, with C4. Careless, you know, just the 1000 deal of chilling. That's what we're playing. East Indian defense, okay? He's playing Indian game, East Indian defense. So now we're currently located in East India and we're playing a game of chess against Arthur. Arthur, Sir Arthur. So now, now he's declining my gambit, okay, we're gonna push e3, we're gonna develop the bishop, we're gonna castle up. He always does this, and I always just ignore it, because I don't know what to say to that, so we're just going to develop the bishop, we're probably going to do it like this. Oh, now he jumped with the horse, so we're playing Indian Gambit, Yusupov Rubinstein system. I, I can't read it, guys. I can't read it, okay? So he jumped with that horse. That is very important. Guys, when people like this jump with that horse so early in the game, that is very, very crucial moment because he's jumping from his territory to your territory and he's just ready to attack. So I never seen Arthur this saucy. And I think... <coughs> I think we should just trade it up. Because, uh, yeah, he can then take this. Uh, but if he takes here, which, you know, takes back, he can't take this, and we can just have our horse in the center. What's up, okay? So we're gonna do it. He does have a pawn in the center, but we don't really care. It's very hard to defend this pawn, right? So we're now going to probably take this, so that he has very bad pawns, because I feel like that is, that is actually very good. Then we can go here to attack this pawn, and then have a tremendous pressure because we're also then threatening c6 uh, if we take this, which is just amazing looking and amazing cooking, okay? So look how the 
we do be going okay we do be going so now we're still gonna do this because our threat is bigger because even if he takes here uh we just do not care we can later castle up and call it a day so he do be giving me a check we're gonna do it like this because uh we can't do anything else uh okay he traded it up uh, the, uh king is pretend uh, protecting the horse so even if this happens we still don't care so now he has a bigger uh he, he defended my bigger threat but now we can take this we can take this pawn and now we're up a pawn so we should just trade everything up logically right we should just trade everything up in this sit uh so now i think we should castle uh so that we don't have any issues with that but i'm just not sure quite sure hmm sir uh, maybe we should <laughs> Maybe we should castle queenside. Why? Because he's missing a pawn here and uh, Because he's castled kingside. So we wanna uh, we wanna attack him like here, you know And when we move here, where is the rook gonna go? Okay, or is my king going to be in the open? So I have to make a move extra, but I'm actually very happy about this type of scenario happening here Okay, isn't that just a free pawn? Or am I tripping? Because what is going to happen? Is this a poisonous pawn? What is happening? I'm gonna take it, okay? I'm gonna... I just hope... I just hope that nothing bad happens to me. He says only a friend of mine could make a move like that. Well done. So he's calling me a friend. Okay, Arthur. I'm stronger than I look. And I look pretty tough with this armor on, right? Sir, I bet you do, okay? You definitely do. So we are going to... We're going to do this because the king is holding the rook. But wait, there are two rooks. <laughs> I forgot about rook on h1. Okay, I forgot about it. Uh, because I want to like, of course, discover, attack him. But I also want to tuck in my king like this. So I think we should do that first. Uh, but then he can give me a check with this bishop. Oh no, he can't. He can't. Okay. Okay. So I think we're good. I think we're good. We deserve a sip of coffee, guys. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't count that part. He now wanna take... He can't take the pawn. He can't do anything, okay? You can't do anything, Sir Arthur. You can't... He says I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. That's the first time I'm hearing that. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke, okay? It's, a, it's, a, it's just a joke. So now he's he wants to take this one. He do be wanting to take this one, sir. So we can just do this. Because we have a horse that wants to jump around. And we just do not care. We traded all of the bishops. <coughs> and we are chilling. Okay. Uh, I think we can push this as well. The queen is now kind of just standing in one place. Uh, he can do this. Uh, but then I just take the bishop. If he does that. So we don't actually care. And... Uh, wait, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, we can we just pushed our uh, h-pawn. We just push it. Okay, and that's it Who are you threatening sir? Okay, he just moved in a what is happening. Okay, so I wanna I Don't know should I keep my horse here. Okay. Yeah, I probably should because it's defending this I think I should continue the attack with the pawns because I don't see why not Okay, but wait, this pawn is then not protected. We have to do it like this, I think. Okay, so we're just having a pawn walk here. We're just having, this is protected, this is protected. I'm just seeing all this because I'm forgetful, guys. I always think that something is either protected, which is not, or I think that something is not protected and it is. I'm missing my internet connection, but I hope that, I mean, I'm playing the game, so I think that everything is right. So... I think we should just push this and continue walking around because we just do not care. We are fearless in this one. We just do be having a pawn walk. Pawn walk. Pawn walk. Okay. We can now jump here uh, because we want to attack here. And he... No, he gonna back rank. He gonna... He gonna back... He gonna be <laughs> He gonna back rank mate. Okay. Look at my hair. I'm going insane. Okay. Okay. Okay, Arthur. I need a rematch. Okay. I don't care. I wanted to play just one game, but I need a rematch now. Because he beckoned. 
He back and I can't. I can't even pronounce it. Okay, he's not playing Indian anymore. Thank God. Thank God. But he don't be playing me a French. Can we do anything gambit against this? <laughs> can we do? Actually, can we do? I think we can do Alien Gambit against this, right? Yeah, we don't care. We're gonna do Alien Gambit against this. We're gonna do it. We don't care. Because, wait. Uh, Alien Gambit is against Karo Khan, but is Karo Khan the same as French? Isn't the French, like, in, a, in another way? What? Okay, so now we jump here, right? And we wanna sack here. So we're playing subliminally the Alien Gambit. Okay, he'll be giving me a check. Uh, I'm gonna go like this and still protect the horse, uh, which is still gonna be thrown away, you know? So just ask me a question, please, sir, ask me a question. He do be moving the queen. Okay, saucy author. He do be a saucy author. Okay, so we're going to jump here now so that we uh, protect the, the horse with the horse. And he's just, he's saying a lot of things, sir. He do be saying a lot of things, a lot of things. He says, I don't see anything wrong with this move. Okay, I, I said absolutely nothing, sir. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So we're going to go here in castle. He's talking so much. He's just saying so many things. I can't read it all, guys. I can't. But I guess we're friends now. I think Arthur ex actually likes me, okay? What is the purpose of this move? What is the purpose of this move? I just do not understand it. Okay, I think we should go here. <coughs> uh, to potentially, like, I don't know, look around here. I can't believe he back and rank and mated me in the last one. I, I forgot about it now. Okay, I think we can still sack it. Yeah, we're gonna just throw it away. <laughs> we're just gonna, we gonna throw it away, sir. Because we, we don't care. <laughs> we want it from the beginning, so we're fine. We're fine. He says no stop, please. Oh, sir, it's too late to back. It's too late to back, sir. I think you're done. Okay, so we're gonna go bishop here. I think we should... Yeah, I think it's okay. But the queen should kind of go onto the, the light square, probably. Okay, so what did he do? He just jump. He just do be el jumping. And now I think I should just go up. Uh, is that okay? If I just go up? Yeah, I think that's actually good. Because then we're looking here. And then we can... Oh, we can't go there, but we can go here. Sir, what is this move? Okay, so we're going to go here. Or should we go with the bishop? I think we should go in with the queen to go here, as I said. But he doesn't want to do that. He just doesn't want to do that. Okay, we can still give this check. Just imagine if I still made him in this position. Because it's looking weird. Okay, we can do this. Okay, wait, but he can take with the rook. Wait, so if I go here, he takes with the rook. We go here. He can again move here. And then we can go here. Yeah, but that's still... And then here? And that's it? So I think we can actually... But wait, what if he... I think we can actually do that. I, I'm now just like so confused. But I, I forgot about this part. What... Okay, I can go here. Yeah, yeah. As I said, okay? I thought I messed it up. I was like, I can't go there. Oh, he can go here. Didn't count about that. So now he's just plus four for no reason. <laughs> okay, Tapa do we playing wild positions today? As I should. As I should. So we're gonna go here. What is he? Is he going to checkmate me again? Okay, he, he's not doing that. Yeah, because I don't think he can. Because even if he goes here, I go here. I have, oh God, thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm going crazy. I'm going insane here, guys. I'm going insane. <clears throat> so now we can uh, take this. Uh, but I don't know, should we take with the bishop or the queen? Because the queen is preventing him from going here. But the queen is, okay, she's not looking at that. I'm gonna take with the queen. I'm gonna take with the queen, okay? I'm just like so confused. 
<clears throat> now we sh should just like get rid of this queen so that we can go here. Oof, this is so stressful, sir. This is weird. If I go here, can he give me any checks? No. Because I want to I wanna go here like this. So that's why I'm, I'm going to go king up. I'm going to go all in. Because this is the rematch anyways. Okay. I forgot he had a bishop, but we don't care. Okay, now we have this. Okay, we don't have the check anymore. But now we can pin his queen to the king. I think we're winning now. I think we're completely winning. Okay, check. Okay, I think we can we actually succeeded in our plans. Or did we? Wait. If we go here, he just moves. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> there is probably a checkmate. I just need to focus up, guys. So, <laughs> this is how I draw it for myself, okay? He can't go here. I, I really don't believe I'm gonna move the rook. So, this is forbidden for him and all of this. So, if I could go here, it would be perfect, right? So, somehow I have to get rid of this rook. Maybe I can go here, though. Yeah, I can go here. Um, both of the... the Knights are very weird. I can take this now. Or I can do it like this. And that's it. That's it! We won the Mr. Arthur! Oh, come on, thank God. Oof. Guys, this was insane. I finally won. Okay, I'm going to save this game to my archive because I just... I, I want to remember it forever. The last time, uh, oh, he, he told me this is capable. I was like, zappable? What was happening? What's zappable? <laughs> Crazy, okay? I can't believe he back and rank and mated me in the first one, but I got my revenge. Arthur is actually crazy strong. Arthur is stronger than the people opponents that I get in 1000 Elo in Rapid. Uh, he's actually stronger because he's a bot, okay? But it's so fun to play with these bots. Uh, positions are just wild and I think that while you're playing with these bots, you're actually, you can practice a lot. You're going to get onto the like higher level because he is a 1000, but he's stronger than the average 1000 person that at least I encounter. So when I next time go to play in the 1000 elo against people, after these games, I'm gonna just, you know, have more knowledge and just be more experienced because this bot crushed me and check and mated me so many times and I'll finally won, okay? So guys, this is me playing against Arthur, Sir Arthur. Did you like it? I really enjoyed it and it was very fun and it's 1-1, one, one, it's tied, so our friendship stays forever. And uh, I'm just like very happy uh, that this bot exists because it's very, very interesting for me to play with him uh, because I think that it ver uh, very suits my style of playing, so I'm very uh, happy about this bot. So guys, uh, that is it for the video and for the games. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you already aren't and let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about this game and this video in general because I, as I said I really enjoyed it he's a very good opponent I'm glad we're friends now and it's just very interesting you know uh, to see all of the different uh, possibilities in a position that you can get and just like to sit in the position and think about it. Because when I play regular games, you know, you, I have time. So I have to hurry up in s certain situations. But here I can just bing chill and he's waiting for me. And then he immediately makes a move. So I, I don't have to wait for him, you know. So it's very good to play uh, against bots sometimes. I definitely recommend it. If you haven't played a game against a bot in a while, make sure to go and do it after watching this video because uh, it's really gonna uh, broaden your horizons, okay? So guys, that is it for me. Thank you once again for supporting me and thank you for being here and watching me. Uh, it's literally ridiculous. <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by at your chess doctor's office. Camera do be uh, dying out of battery. So that is it. Have a wonderful day guys. Stay happy, stay optimistic, stay positive. And as I usually said, and I'm going to say it again, do not blunder, do not resign, just chill, take your time and everything going to be fine. Okay. I forgot about saying that for a long time, but today I remember my dear friends. Today I remember. So that is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.